Happy Saturday morning, everybody. I am headed out to an estate sale and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So am I the only one that gets that feeling of excitement when I'm heading out to an estate sale? I bet I'm not. I'm sure there are many of you guys that are the same way. So this was a great one on a Saturday morning that I visited. And the first thing that I spotted was this old drawer. Look at those cool handles that it has on there. I always actually try and head to garages first when I go to an estate sale um, because that's where I tend to find some of the really cool items. This old armoire, 20 bucks. What a great price on that. I'm not in the market for big furniture right now, but I thought that was a great price. This little white shelf, I definitely took home with me. I've got big plans for it, and I'll tell you more about it later. And then I liked this ammo trunk that they had. Didn't take that with me, but did spy another trunk over here. And I asked him if he would come down on the price a little bit. I purchased it for 20 and I will show you guys a bit more of this trunk again later in the video. Also back in the garage were some old chairs. I liked the legs on this one set right here and they were really pretty sturdy for what um, they are and for their age. Not in the market for chairs at the moment, but a good price on them. And then I definitely kind of had to dig around back here. I was hoping to find some old crusty paintbrushes. Unfortunately, I didn't find any, um, but always dig through that, that part of the estate sale because you may find some and they sell really well. I did find these old kitchen canisters. Look, this is like a flower, and this one here was a sugar, and they were filled with bolts and um, different pieces of hardware. See, that was a T one right there. But uh, I just passed on them. I felt like they were a little bit too beat up. And I mean, who doesn't want a Duck Dynasty Chia Pet? Like, that's pretty amazing. You never know what you're gonna find, right, at an estate sale. So this sale had already been going on for two or three weekends by the time I made it out there. So their home decor section, um, their dishes, glassware, all of that was really pretty picked over. There wasn't a lot there, but then I did spot this little collection of the most adorable miniature hand-painted houses, a whole little village, and it was a dollar for the whole set. And I love anything that is miniature. I just love it. So they came home with me for a dollar. I did grab this also. Um, I think they wanted just giving it to me, <laughs> but that's not a bad piece. Um, and then here is that white shelf that I got. Now that was a $10 shelf is what I paid for it. It was super, super grimy. So once I got it home, I gave it a scrub with the hose and a little bit of soapy water, just some dish soap and water, just to clean out the, the obvious grime on it. And it definitely helped, made a bit of a difference and then I just kind of set it out in the sun to let it dry. But my plan for this is it is going to come up to my antique booth space and it's going to make a great display piece. I'm actually gonna stage it here later in the video and I'm excited to show it to you guys. All right guys, I'm out here in my garage and I know you can't see this full piece, but this is another one of the pieces that I grabbed at that estate sale. Uh, I paid $25 for it and it is just kind of a handmade primitive cabinet. It was something that the owners had used for storage in their garage, but I liked it because of this cool chippy paint and because it's just really, really sturdy. It also has kind of a neat old latch front and it's got a shelf, lots of storage on the inside. So I am really trying to up my game at my booth space. My booth space has been mostly paint 
And I kind of shared a little bit about that in a video earlier this year about how I'm trying to do better with the vintage decor items at my booth since I closed my store. Um, I haven't given it a lot of attention. So I am trying to do a little bit better in that area at my booth. And I thought for 25 bucks, this would be a great piece to just toss in there and let's see what happens with. Right now, it's still in my garage. I gotta get it cleaned up like that white shelf and then I'll get it moved up there once I have space for it. Okay, so a piece that you guys did see in the video and that I did bring home with me is this amazing trunk. I have not really started working on it yet. I don't wanna do a lot to it except just clean it up a little bit. I paid 20 bucks for it. My favorite part about it for sure is the inside. I'm gonna give you guys kind of a closer look. So I think the inside of this is just really cool. I love this patterned paper that's on here and this, the leather straps, this whole little shelf area right here is really cool. Then if you want, you can take that piece out. There's the full inside. I just really like that paper and that pattern. I think that's really pretty neat. So if you haven't figured it out, based upon the kind of stuff that I brought home from this estate sale, the look that I'm going for right now with these pieces in my booth space is a little bit more primitive. I am gonna try and press back into that a little bit because it does seem to be that those are the types of things that are selling a little bit better at my mall. And again, right now my goal is to kind of boost up that revenue stream at my mall. So I've got that white shelf all cleaned up and ready to go. I'm gonna take you guys up to the booth. We're gonna stage it. I think it's gonna be fantastic. If you have a booth, you know when you're doing a reset that it always gets worse before it gets better, right? So that's kind of where we're at right here. My plan is to redo that blue table area. And the first thing I had to do was hang this mirror. Now this mirror was a thrift store find that I'd kept myself for a little while, but decided it was time to let it go. And that kind of took up that high wall space. And then I wanted to add some height to this table with that little $10 white shelf that I got from the estate sale. So now it's time to fill up that white shelf with our smalls. And I had a question on Facebook about if I plan my vignettes before I go to the booth. And I don't, but I do kind of keep in mind what I've got while I'm shopping. And if I see a theme coming together, then I kind of run with it. So I knew for this shelf, I was going to have several baskets and kind of that wood tone. And then I had some green and some yellow accents. So that's what we're kind of pulling in and just layering in these different areas, adding these little bits of greenery for freshness, and yes, those are for sale, um, the buttons, and then here's this little adorable pop of yellow, another little miniature thing. So kind of repeating colors, textures, um, accents, and then filling in your empty space with books and other fillers that you have. Again, I use greenery for that a lot. here is where I staged that set of little houses and I'll tell you guys they sold the very next day they were the first thing that sold out of all of this new stuff that I put in the booth so somebody besides me loved them as much as I did I am really happy with how this came together I think that white shelf is perfect for that space I loved that I found a couple different yellow pieces so I could have that repeating color and then the baskets and the greenery. I think it just looks really nice and fresh and it's gonna make for a really interesting vignette for my customers to look through.
If you have a booth space and you want some more help with creating vignettes like this, I have another video that's all about styling shelves and I'm going to link it at the top right now. So you can go check that out. It has some principles that you can follow for how to kind of build these really compelling and interesting vignettes. I hope it's helpful for you guys. Hey guys, I really appreciate you coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing that whole process kind of from start to finish. I know this video was a little bit of a hodgepodge. Honestly, I have been off from making YouTube videos for most of April due to just kind of some family and some life things. And so I had to really kind of pull this footage together from over a period of several weeks. But um, that's kind of what this life looks like, hunting, finding, cleaning stuff up and trying to make it look cute in my booth space so that it can be shoppable for others. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not a Lost and Found subscriber, I hope you join our community. We are rapidly approaching 30,000 subscribers, which is pretty incredible. So y'all are fantastic. I hope to see you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.